COVID-19 hasn't kept them down. They've stayed true to their schools and themselves. It's tonight's final senior spotlight. We take another look at some standouts this year who have excelled through it all. First, it was a bummer, like getting the call saying that we weren't going back to school. But then the faculty and staff at Ziegler Royalton really worked well together to make it a memorable year for all of us. At the height of unemployment, Kelsey Knapp was able to graduate from Ziegler Royalton High School and find a job. She plans to go to Rend Lake College in the fall. She's looking forward to the future as her parents keep a watchful eye. Oh, well, it's a, a very proud accomplishment for her, for us and for her, uh, you know, to see your child go through uh, these years of school and then the final uh, culmination is them graduating. It's a very proud moment. Our area is brimming with pride for the young graduates as their families share their photos with us. Hundreds, in fact, spotlighted three weeknights on News 3 since May. Students like Janasia McClorn, Jen to her friends. Jen's mother tells News 3 she's proud of her daughter for sticking it out and finishing school and being the best mom she can be. Some graduates well on their way have some challenges ahead, like Katie Lewis, who is heading to SIU in the fall after overcoming a mastectomy during high school. Abby Mayfield, who just graduated from Marion High School, has nursing in her future and is already a certified nursing assistant. Dakota Poole graduated from Goreville High School. Dakota wants to become a police officer and serve his community at a critical time. Other grads want to serve their country, like West Frankfurt's Denon Gilliam, who joined the U.S. Navy, and fellow sailor Madison Moore from Johnson City High School, also shipping out. Graduates with unique talents to share include Landon Simpson from Harrisburg High School and artist Britton Tranaham of Thompsonville High School. Benton Consolidated High School saw triplets move the tassel this year, Macy, Nikki, and Joey Sample. Super proud, <laughs> very, he's just, he's amazing. I mean, he's an, he's an amazing person. He's very strong-willed. Angela Brown speaks for her son, Joey Brown Jr., who just graduated from West Frankfurt High School while fighting the effects of a brain condition that's led to multiple surgeries and limited his communication. She has advice for all the graduates this year. Anything is possible. You know, um, when you when people are feeling like, oh, I just can't do this and I can't do that, they need to look at Joey, and they re they really need to realize the struggles that he has every day, sorry, and what he goes through, and there shouldn't be any excuses. We'd like to thank our sponsors and parents for sharing their students with us. We spotlighted 70 graduates on air and hundreds more on our website since May, and we wish all of them good luck in the future.